Hey. In this video, I'll be talking about a book I've read called My Papa is a Simple Man. It's about a Korean historical figure named Soji Pil, and I'll be calling him by his American name, Philip Jason, throughout this video. I also did additional research for the first time after school on a website called The Korea Times. Thank you for your help. I linked them down in the description box if you want to check them out and learn more about Philip Jason. Quick disclaimer, obviously you can tell I'm new to this. Just enjoy. I promise I'll get better. And um, this video is going to be quite informative, so leave if you're not chill with that. Take it only. Back to Jason. So Jason was born in Korea in 1863 and was adopted into a powerful family. Years later. At the age of 18, Jason passed the civil service exam and was hired by the royal court as a junior officer. This is like a high schooler getting hired by Trump or Obama. That's how abnormal this was. Later, he was sent to Japan by the king to study Japanese in their military system. When he returned to Korea, Jason and a bunch of reformers staged a coup, and Jason was appointed as a minister of military affairs. Three days later, however, the Qing sent their military and destroyed the reformist government. Fleeing for his life, Jason first went to Japan, then moved to San Francisco in 1885. He basically had no money, so he earned money by handing out flyers and used this money to enter the Harry Hillman Academy in Pennsylvania. In 1889, Jason was hired as a library clerk translating Chinese and Japanese medical books into English. This triggered his love for medicine, and so he studied medicine at George Washington University, becoming the first Korean to receive a medical degree. By this point, Jason decided to become a U.S. citizen and changed his name from Soje Pil to Philip Jason. 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 Anyways, with his medical degree, he became a doctor of a small clinic, facing lots of obstacles and struggles, mostly due to racial discrimination. Not only did he study in America, but in 1894, Jason married Muriel Armstrong, niece of former President James Buchanan. He was the first Korean to marry an American woman. Later that year, Japan defeated China, and Korea's government was filled with reformists, some who knew Jason and pardoned his crimes, enabling his return. Jason brought with him American ideals like republicanism and democracy. In Korea, he published The Independent, created The Independent Club slash Party, and taught students about the principles of democracy. Some didn't like Jason because of his beliefs, and in addition to this, the Spanish-American War started calling Jason as a medical surgeon. These factors sent him back to the U.S., and later he became a businessman. A decent one, too. In the U.S., Jason constantly showed support for Korea through newspapers and magazines, reminding people about the existence of Korea. I thought it was quite surprising that Korea's existence had to be announced for people to remember it was a country, which is probably not expected today. So during this time, Korea was annexed by Japan, and only after did Seo Jae-pil return to Korea again. People welcomed him. Like, really welcomed him. They were so enthusiastic about his arrival because they believed that he wasn't tainted with Japanese influence over Korea's government. Because of political disagreements, for the whatever time, Jason moved back to the U.S. This time, he stayed there till his death, and in 1951, Jason died at the age of 86. There are a lot of controversies surrounding Jason. Some believe that he was an opportunist, that his actions were all for himself and not because of his love for his country. Others see Jason as a foreigner because Jason didn't speak Korean when he came back to Korea, an action they believed was all an act showing his superiority over them. Despite the controversy, Sajay Pillow has left a huge impact on the way I vision myself as a Korean. We should address that he has faced many struggles and became the footsteps for many other Korean Americans. Philip Jason had a huge impact on Korea as the principles he brought from America became the foundation for Korea's government and its policies. I thought his work and achievements were inspiring because he accomplished them during such a rough period where racism and discrimination was the norm. The struggles he faced then are still relevant today and this fact is motivating for me because it shows me that I can overcome them like he has. I had zero context and knowledge about Jason when I first read the book My Papa's a Simple Man. After researching and reading through the book, I've come to realize that Jason, although his accomplishments and impacts were great, he was a simple man with a simple dream. Anyways, thanks for sticking with me and watching this video. If any of what I said is wrong, or if you have more to say about Philip Jason, leave a comment and share your thoughts. 
I hope you enjoyed this video and that I presented you with knowledge about our good friend, Sojay Pill. I do love attention, so help me out and like this video, subscribe, and have a good day. Bye!